So friends, today is the day where we'll be play painting this bench that I bought from Facebook Marketplace like the, towards the end of winter and the obelisk that my husband built for me, two of them. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant and I'm a little bit nervous guys because honestly, <sighs> So I'm going to put up on the screen the picture of the colors that we were working off of. So I had asked you guys on YouTube here and on Instagram, you know, what color are you guys leaning towards? And many of you chose two colors. One was Charisma and one was Lemon Twist. Those were the two that were neck and neck. And I love both colors. Now, I could not decide on what color i wanted to paint like which color did i wanted to choose because they were all so beautiful as you can see on the screen they were amazing i think the third runner up was tantalizing teal which is a beautiful blue color but I, honestly in my opinion i feel like blue would have been the go-to so i'm happy when majority chose lemon twist and tantalizing lemon twist and charisma sorry <sighs> So here's what happens. I could not decide. So I told my husband, these are the two colors that are leading. What do you think? Now, why did I ask my husband that? Ah, because one, he's my support system. He's my best friend and I can bounce ideas off of him. We don't always see eye to eye, but man, I was not seeing this coming. He said to me, well, why don't you just paint the bench one color and then paint the obelisk in another color? They will complement each other. Hmm, guys, I'm nervous. So the color I decided to paint this bench in is Lemon Twist, a bright, beautiful yellow. And wherever you are in the yard, it's just going to stand out and it looks amazing. Now, please do not be afraid of color. OK, everything is not black and white. There are colors. So if you have a bubbly personality, you love color, you like to take risks. Don't be scared to try color in your garden because you can always change it. All right. So. Lemon Twist is the winner for the bench and I decided to take my husband's opinion and put Charisma on the Oblisk. Ah, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous because once I put them together, I'm just trying to figure out like I know it's going to look good. And guys, trust me on this process because when it comes to color, I can put colors together now. OK, I know how to put colors together. I'm not a professional, but I think everything I've done so far regarding color looks pretty good. So, the obelisk will be in Charisma, and this will be in Lemon Twist, the yellow with the peachy pink. Now, what I'm going to do when everything is all put together, I'm going to find a throw, like a throw, what do you call it, blanket type thing, and a pillow, a cushion, or um, something that is the color of Charisma to place on the bench so it ties in together. And then the plants that I'm planting will also pick up the color of both the obelisk and the bench and everything will just be meshed, mixed in and look beautiful. Okay. So trust the process and trust me on this. Okay. So let me show you guys the color. So this is Lemon Twist and I am... <laughs> Listen, it's bright. It's extremely bright, but I'm hoping that eventually when it dries, it dries darker, darker as most paints do. Come on. Oh my God. Friends. Look at this color. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous. Look at this color. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I am so nervous. It's bright, which is what I want. All right, friends, so I don't know. Whew. So this is the first coat and it needs a second coat, maybe a third, just to make sure that all the brown is covered that is on the bench. 
Um, when I bought the paint, I explained to the guy that it's going to be outside. I need exterior paint that can stand up to the weather and the elements. So this is an exterior paint with primer already in the paint. Um, I just feel as though because the color is so light, the brown from the bench is seeping through. So once this is dry, I'm going to give it a second coat. I Right now, I'm a little bit nervous. My husband said he loves it. It does stand out. It does make a statement. And ah, I'm nervous. Um, so while this dry, I'm going to start working on the obelisk or I'll probably just, it's pretty cool out here and it's hot at the same time, like the wind, but with the sun. So maybe it will, it's dry to the touch. So I'm just, I'm just going to put on a second coat, see what happens. And then we're going to start on the obelisk. Okay. Now hold your thoughts and your little fingers before you guys can start typing away. Let the color speak to your spirit first before you share your opinion. Okay. All right. Okay, friends, what do you guys think? Um, it's warming up to me. This is the third coat and it looks amazing. I mean, it's bright. It demands attention. It's in your face, but it looks good, especially from a distance. Um, and just picture plants around it, blues and pinks, and maybe a few darker yellows. Not too much yellow since the bench is already yellow. Uh, I see the vision. I see the vision. I can just picture it and vision the bench back in the corner back there. And I just think, and I just know it's going to look good. But for right now, I was like, girl, I don't know the color. The color is so bright, but it's gorgeous. I love it. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. Next, we're going to do the obelisk. I'm exhausted. If I spent like two hours trying to paint this bench, just one little bench, two hours. Okay, friends, so uh, so this color is the charisma and on paper, on picture, on my phone, it looked beautiful. It was soft, but this one looks very light and I am, like I said, I'm nervous. <sighs> ah! The color is so pretty, but ah! okay. Look at this color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, soft, beautiful, peachy pink. Yes. Come. Gorgeous. This is so beautiful, but I don't know. With the bench and I don't know, the, the yellow is giving me more. You can see the hint of green in the yellow. I don't, I don't know, we shall see, but I love this color. I am loving this color right here, which is gorgeous. Paint. Yes, we're going to be painting. Hi, please. You want to paint too? Yeah, because Mia did not paint. I want Mia to paint last time. Amelia, well, she didn't paint the last time because I didn't paint anything until yeah, now. I know you will paint this. Yes, I'm going to paint that. With a shovel. No, not with the shovel. I used it to open up the can because the can was too, come, too, this was too hard. This foot, this foot.
it's been several days, maybe three, and um, the colors just took me by surprise. Like initially, I loved them separately, but when I placed them together, I was just taken back because the bench is so bright. The pink, it's bold, but it's subtle in a way. It's not as bright. This is like a, a bright yellow. This yellow is, it has an undertone of green, and the pink has an undertone of blue. Um, I don't know right now. <laughs> Um, I don't know. My husband loves the bench. He loves it. So in fashion, this would be considered color blocking where you take two solid colors and place them together that complement each other or contrast each other. And, um, it's given very, it's very much tropical vibes, but it takes a while to warm up to this, to this corner of the garden because everywhere else is so subtle. So what I'm going to do, I am going to paint a part of the veggie garden fence this pink to tie both area in together the biker boys are out this afternoon guys so for those of you who are new here i live in baltimore city and it's always something it's always something so this is it the color is going to stay and it's not for everyone and that is okay uh i'm gonna make it work and the great thing about it is, it's just paint. It can be changed. <sighs> I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'm nervous. But I have just about all the plants I need for this area to tie this space in with this color. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. I know for sure it's going to be beautiful. I do not doubt myself and my gift. Because I feel like I do have a gift when it comes to color coordination and putting things together in the garden. But... This yellow is throwing me off, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but my husband loves it so much that I'm gonna keep it. The pink. Amira, the camera's gonna fall. Amira, put the camera back, please. <laughs> this, work. this is bold. This is very different for me. I'm really stepping out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna see what I can do this season. I just want you guys to trust the process and trust me with this, okay? We're gonna. We're gonna create something beautiful in this area of the garden, something to talk about, all right? All right, so until then, until then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!